quick chat with you two. We were speaking to Beck earlier about oh, yeah. bringing in a heavyweight belt. Now yeah, that's right. First heavyweight. How do you feel about that? Um, to be honest with you, I think it's the only way forward. Uh, we need to now get uh, weight divisions and belt divisions. Um, I think uh, Deku is he's certainly an up and coming star, and uh, I think he'll do very, very, very well uh, in what he does. Because like this is the sixth show now, and although some shows have had two, three fights, he's still plugging away. He's still. I, still I don't believe in the way of giving up. Okay, so, so I'll, I'll keep doing it until it's big, and, and, and it will be big. Number six. Well, we spoke uh, number two when we first met, which yeah. was October the 26th. Well, yeah. Last year, so we're a year and a bit on. Yeah. B Bad's come a hell of a long way. It's gone a hell of a long way. Yeah. It's an, up, it's an up, up and coming uh, fight company. Um, and uh, we, we will make B BKB mainstream and we will make it as safe as possible for fighters to get in there and show what they're made of. Do you think like promoters, like obviously we do a boxing show which, you know, with gloves on, do you think people haven't got the guts quite yet to do what you've done? A, a hell of a lot of men haven't got the guts, to be honest with you. Um, that's why we get so many people pull out at the last minute. You know, it, it all takes over. The fear takes over. They don't want to have a fight. Quickly tell, tell you know. fighters when they say to you they're going to fight. They're on Facebook for two months before the fight, saying, "And what, how do you feel on the night?" Because I know what it's like ourselves when they don't turn up. It's, it's horrible. It gives my fucking head. Off. It really pisses me off. You know, don't fucking say you're going to be there if you're not there. You know, don't don't want the excuses. Just fucking, just don't don't say you're going to be there. Uh, I don't want to hear on the night that you're not coming. No, no. You know, it's so, close. You know, it's and obviously we've gone from Leicester down the Midlands down to London, so we've got the show south. It's been successful. Yep. Where's where's the next venue after this one, Andy? Um, well, we're hoping to do a, a northern event. Um, if we don't. We're hoping to get it like Newcastle way, you know, uh, up north anyway. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it'll be in Leicester. Just tell people as well. We were chatting earlier on about money and stuff. I mean, people probably think there's a lot of money in this, but you're struggling. You're, you're yeah, there's, even there's even not. The, yeah, I mean, going. basically, I break even in shows, but at the end of the day. Uh, I, I don't do it for the money, I do it to raise a bit of money for cancer research and I do it because I love the sport and I want to, I want the sport to grow. Okay, you're number six now, nobody else has really started doing it obviously. It's been over, April was the first show last year, Yeah. April, so we're at number six, nobody else is doing it. Do you think still people yeah. are worried about that, like, you know, fair enough? Uh, at the end of the day, yeah, you need a you need a good pair of balls between your legs and, and just get along and do it. If you want to do it, I'm I'm happy to uh, use the Be Bad name if someone wants to do their own show. Uh, they can use our rules. Uh, we've got them written down. We've got we're self-sanctioned, and uh, yeah, I'm happy for as many uh, promoters as possible to start doing it. You know, on a personal level, everybody knows about the legs, obviously. Yeah, and it's been a lot. It's been hard for you the last. Year, very so. hard, yeah, very so hard. So how do you cope with being ill and still being able? Uh, those shows. It must be very, and in a pub as well. I don't give a fuck. I just do it. Yeah, on, yeah. yeah. I'm in pain standing there now, but I just fuck it. Have you got a date for the next show? Uh, not an actual date, but yeah, it's going to be uh, March. March, March time. Next yeah. Year, yeah. yeah. Okay, so anybody who's watching this interview, uh, except the bullshit, as you say, they're yeah, fight. yeah, yeah. If you bullshit, uh, don't. Just don't waste my time, basically. I'm sick and tired of you. To be fair, uh, the platform you can give these fighters. I these... will get you a fight if you're a genuine guy. If you really want to fight, I'll get you a fight. Guys who fight on your show can get up to like 40,000 views, which is a hell of a lot. For yeah, a fight, well, you know? 360,000, 700,000, you know, it's easy, yeah. yeah. Really? So, what, uh, last word from you, how do you feel tonight, Scott? I think uh, it's been a shame that guys have let us down yet again in, uh, in turning up for the fight. But at the end of the day, I think it's been a success. Uh, the fights have been good, and uh, and all we're doing is we're moving forward, and uh, we're getting we're bringing good fights regularly to the public. You must be happy tonight. The first heavyweight B bad fight, and that was awesome. Yeah, it was brilliant, and it was a fantastic fight. Yeah. yeah. Just quickly to Peter, who's been a big B bad fan for a long time. How do you feel tonight? I've been there since day one, and it's my first. Be bad event I've been to, and I've got to say, it's been fantastic. What do you think of Andy Topliff? Because obviously he's done a lot. And this, this, this promotion started from a group on Facebook, and it's now on Be Bad 6 in a year and a half. A lot of boxing promoters can't even put six shows on. So how do you feel Andy's done? He's a legend. Absolute legend. To put up with the rubbish he's had to put up with. 
people slated him and all that. At the end of the day, he's the only bloke who's actually come forward and done it all. And he's done it. And he's drawn a crowd like this. He doesn't... How can I say it? There's people who come on the group and slate him, slate his family, slate the fighters, slate the fans, and do you know what? The bloke don't fight. Well, do you think it's fair for me to say that whatever people have said, he never bites back on YouTube. Do you think to say he's a genuine man who's still aiming for that goal and not getting sucked into the YouTube? The, go the goal's been reached. The goal's been reached. There's more views on those fights than anyone else. He's got fans all over the country. He's done the business. He's proved he's done the business. He's got genuine fighters. But, unfortunately, there's people who let him down. Um, I personally think there's got to be a bond. The fighters, if they say he's going to fight, they've got to pay a bond. They've got to pay pal or do something, put the money up front. When they turn up, they get their money back. If not, you don't lose. Don't be a coward. And what about, we've had a lot of talk from people abroad and stuff like that saying they want to do this and that, but do you think that it comes back down to the fact that you just got to put the shows on like you have people abroad, they want planes to come over and stuff, is it? I think like, be bad Ireland, obviously. I think they, the Irish are fighting lads anyway. Yeah. If we can get some, if we can get some be bad events over in Ireland, um, we've got the American fighters coming over, Jason Young. When he comes over and fights, it'll be very good to watch him, and I'm sure he'll, it, it, it will help uh, Ben off of boxing amazingly. Um, with the Irish lads, it'd be very good to get the Irish. He's one of them. Uh, bloody trouble, but you know what I mean. Uh, he's, he's a big fit spearhead, big figurehead for BKB. So, you know. It's not that I'm a big figurehead, right? But I follow BKB from the, day, the early days of Dan Rooney, Amy McGinley, and uh, 1990, and I moved on within the father community from then. But what Andy is trying to do is bring it, like what I've wanted to do and what Andy is doing is bringing it out of all that community and bringing it into into the, in, into arenas. Let it be big arenas or small arenas. It doesn't really matter as long as it's been highlighted and the fighters have been shown. But one thing I've seen tonight and I've already seen two fights. From B Bad 1 to B Bad 6, I've seen a great improvement in the fighters. I've seen a great improvement in the crowds and I've seen a great improvement within the whole co supporter community of Big Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, now, well, what one thing I will say is, you know, <laughs> with, 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 with fight nights like this, it, it takes a man to step into the ring, whether be big, small or different, it doesn't really matter, right? It takes a man with balls, heart and, and fitness, but what I recommend that's happening in that ring tonight is, with, if people keep fighting for Andy or anyone else who's doing BKB, the next, the next governor, Lenny McLean, the next um, Roy, Shaw. Roy Shaw, the next um, whatever, all of them, all fighters. I think he's going to shine his face tonight. The people, any, any, any fight, uh, people that's recommended, and uh, people that has been talked about in legend and folklore of BKB and unlicensed boxers. Will will come out a new a new era will come and a new fighter will come and someone will be supreme in this in this in this arenas in arenas like this and you know what I want to be part of it with Andy and and I know I will be um, and I know I will be there to see the next the next real champion and he's going to be you know what it may not be be bad five be six seven or eight but he's going to be there he'll appear, and, yeah. and he will appear and people will say that is the man like Lenny McLean like Roy Shaw and. What's and, the old and, points of it? We, and we're, trying to, and all them. we're trying to get this sport back to where it was originally. Once we've got this sport back where it once was, yeah, then, then you'll get your heroes, you'll get your Superman, you'll get your Spider-Man in that ring. And that's what it is. To a new level, Andy, though, because when we talk about Bartley Gorman and all them people, we've got no videos of their fights. Bartley was the most... I'll tell you what, Bartley, Bartley... I looked up to Bartley Major and Sam, uh, Sam Gorman... And Jerry, and Jerry, and Jerry. No, no, I was, I'm on about Sam, Sam uh, Elder, brother, not, not, brother. not Jerry and Bartley's Sam brother. Jr. Bartley's brother. Bartley's brother, Sam. Now, that man there, he showed me how to fight, right? He's the one who taught me everything I know how to fight. And, and he was the toughest, but Sam Gorman was the man. He was the man. But so, the thing was with Sam, he's a family what, man. But what I like about the BKB fighters of today, 
Like going back to the early early 70s, 80s and 90s. Yeah. And when when I was doing it in the 90s and early 2000s. Yeah. Okay, we, we trained, we done that, right? But the guys today are in top shape. They are a different. They're different, in top shape. Yeah. They're, 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 they're more athletic, they're more yeah. into it. So what I want to what I want to see for the future is men that that want to be there, men that want to get into that ring, not just because it's a payday, no. but want to get in there because they want to be That's the next right, yeah. fucking governor. Yeah. Can I just and the next point governor out is coming soon. It's definitely coming soon. It's coming, for example, from James, the mighty queen. He fought for family, he fought for pride, but he's always been one to say, correct me if I'm wrong, James, he didn't, he didn't like it. And he always fought for pride and family, but he didn't want to fight for... He's always stated he didn't want to do that. And this part of being bad, it's not about grudges. It's about sport now. It's about sport. People are fair men shaking hands. The one thing what people don't realise is all of our fighters are professional people, and that's what we're trying to get through to people. We've got a solicitor, we've got a PE teacher, we've got a mechanic. There's a plumber. You got uh, all professions. Gas technician. Exactly. You know, people said to me before, James, you've had so many fights. Paid, did they? You've had so you many know, fights and you've won so many fights. And I'm, I'm going to go back to what Andy's saying. You've had so many fights and you've won so many fights. Why we saw this? Why we saw that? And I said I was never, not that I was ever any good. What I always said to people is, I was lucky. I just was a better man than the man I fought. Yeah. Okay. Because regardless, regardless how people think a good you are, there is a new man coming in that ring, yeah. oh, and he's yeah. coming soon. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like a second it's like a second resurrection of Jesus Christ, right? That we're all due that. We all know he's coming, right? Right? But what I'm saying, there is a new champion, a new supreme champion coming in that program. Let it be V Bad, let it be Quint Bosch, let it be where it's coming. It's, it's coming. Not about it things, is coming. Is it? And thank God it's moved from it's moved from the, the top the cobbles of the grudge matches, right? Exactly. To a fucking sport. Exactly. A sport and, and, that's, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, Fair I'm play trying me. to make a sport. I'm trying to make a league. The one thing I'm knowing which I know for a fact now is that a league is coming and it is coming. I'm gonna have a heavyweight title belt, I'm gonna have a middleweight title belt and I'm gonna have a lightweight title belt. It needs to be it needs to be more attractive. It makes it more attractive. At the moment I will start with me, I never run before I can jump, right? I, you know what I mean? I never sorry jump for whatever it is, bollocks. You know what I mean? I've had a, 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 one foot can walk. Yeah, I never run for walk. You know what I mean anyway. <laughs> but what, what, what I mean is, at the end of the day, I, I'm not uh, unrealistic. You know, I'm not going to start off over in America. I'm not going to start in Australia or wherever. We, we build it slowly, but what you've got to do is you've got to make the British people have a heart for it and normal normal professional people go into that pit, fight hard and that's where you get champion. A man who goes to work every single day, it's not a gangster sport. he goes to work every single day, he trains a couple of hours a week and he steps in and fights. That's what I love. What people don't understand, one second right, what people don't understand right, is better than boxing. Let's let's go back a little bit in the history of it, right? People don't understand that the, the, uh, the boxing of today, the, ma the square ring, the minutes, the rounds, the health and safety, all the issues. That all started from BKB. Yes. BKB was the original form of gentleman gentry fighting. The last fight that ever happened in BKB, the last world title that ever happened was in 1889, was against Jake Kilrain and John L. Sullivan. Right? And from that, that was the very last fight. So people said, you know what we'll do? Let's introduce gloves. Yeah. For the simple reason being, right, the fights are over too quick with bare knuckle. Right, so let's introduce gloves and we'll make it and easier. We'll, 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 we'll make it easier yeah. make it on the fighters, yeah. but it's not easier because if you're getting if you're wearing gloves, yeah, and you're getting pounded, pounded, pounded every second for 15 fucking rounds, yeah, you're going to get fucking brain damage, yeah, yeah, because it's pounding, pounding, it's it's prolonged damage. You look at all the fucking fighters that that's died from. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's punch strong. Okay? You show me, it? you show me, Peter, a bare knuckle fighter that's punch strong. He's not. No. No. You know why? Because the fights don't last that long. It's super it's right? it's because, that, because it's, it's, it's more superficial. superficial. It's superficial, it's superficial, superficial damage. Wounds, what they oh, you've got superficial damage. Okay, you've got oh, yeah, you got face bash, you got hurt, right? You get knockouts. But at the end of the day, there is no fucking major damage. But if you go, you you you, you okay? You you're, you're in there. You're in there for 15 rounds, yeah. You're doing. 
Womp, womp, womp. Right? You're going to stand there, you're going to take them Please punches. Please don't hit me but with try my and take, You try and take punches like that yeah. from a bare knuckle boxer. You're yeah. not going to take them. No. Because the fight's over. So you're going to be able to take pain. You can't take pain. Your, your original, the original, in, the original introduction of, of gloves was to prolong the fight for the crowds. Nothing to do with fucking safety. safety and nothing. the gloves Fellas, weigh more question. pounds. Anyway. They knock your brain about. Question, I was asked by Decker earlier, who do I think is the best ever BKB fighter? I was asked... Uh, I, tell, I, tell you, I tell you, I tell you... It's hard, it's hard. Because I, I, it's different here, I'll tell you why it's hard. I said, uh, Bartley Gorman, obviously. No, 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 no
everybody. <laughs>